Good morning, precious brothers and sisters in Christ. It's Genevieve here again. Today's date is Tuesday, the 27th of November, 2018. And I just wanted to get on here and and uh, just encourage you and um, and just share with you the amazing things that God is doing and how He is moving and and because I believe in sharing, it it will encourage you and and uh, and uh, basically um, just a couple of beautiful testimonies that the Lord has put on my heart to share with you. Um, on Friday just passed, uh, as I picked up my daughters from school, I was uh, we were walking home and there was a a car that was parked on the street just outside the school and. And I saw the guy sitting in the car and and I wanted to just go over to the window and I just wanted to say, excuse me, I want to tell you that Jesus loves you. But as I saw him, I, I just kind of stepped back a bit and I, and I thought, oh, maybe not, you know, like maybe it won't be a good reaction, you know, that's what I thought. But then I, I, I um basically stepped away from the car and then the guy looked, he called out to me and he said, excuse me, can you please come over here? And I went over to the guy, and um, and he said to me, "I just want to ask you a question. Um, what is it that that changed you? Like, have you always been like this? I always see you talking to people about Jesus, praying for people. Like, I've I've always seen you do this, and I just wanted to know: Have you always been like this, or what is it? What is it that you believe? What is it that made you this way?" And so basically, this guy um, that I was about to speak to, but I stepped back. The Lord basically used him to break the ice. I began to share with him my testimony and how that I no, I haven't always been like this, but I had an encounter with Jesus, and Jesus changed my life, and that is why I do what I do because I want people to know that He is real and that He loves us. And and I said, so that's why I do what I do. I'm an evangelist. Basically, wherever I'm standing, um, God will use me, and I and I have that willingness to be used by God, wherever I'm standing. And um, and I shared that with him, and then he said to me that I prayed for his wife a few weeks ago, and he said you prayed for my wife, and my wife's life has changed. Like she feels different. Her life has she she's not been the same since you prayed for her. And then I was trying to think, okay, now who's who is his wife? Because <laughs> I mean, I speak to people every day. So I, and then um, and then I saw her come into the car, and I was like, oh, praise God! Yes, I remember. I, I prayed for you, and I felt prompted by the Holy Spirit as I walked past you, and 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 she, basically she received Jesus that day that I saw her. Um, she was waiting outside of the school gate, and uh, and I approached her, and I just said, I just want to tell you that Jesus loves you. And he died for you, and he, and um, and he cares for you and your family, and and he he's the only hope in this world. And I, I began to share with her, and um, and cut a long story short. After I shared, I encouraged her. I said, "Look, can I ask you a question? Would you like to receive Jesus into your heart as your Lord and Savior?" And she said yes. And I I shared with her that the most important thing is is to follow up, you know, and to to have that personal intimate relationship with Jesus. And I explained to her it's not about religion, and and so anyway, here I am. And having a conversation with with the wife and and the the husband, and uh, and this was just amazing. This was just all God. This brothers and sisters was a divine appointment. Okay, this wasn't a coincidence. It was a God incident. Even as I felt prompted to approach him, and I stepped away at the last minute, but God used him to break the ice and call out to me. Okay, and um and basically at that point. As we were all talking and I was sharing about Jesus, I saw one young lady um, who was a mom from the school and she too, I had prayed for her um, a few months earlier and as I saw her, I really felt strongly prompted by the Holy Spirit to call her over. So I called her over and I said, Sister, just share your testimony as I prayed for you, what you felt and how your life has changed. So here, here's this young lady sharing a testimony with with the man and his wife and and um. And it was just so much power in that. I mean, the presence of God was there, and and um, she was just sharing 
this young lady was sharing how she's just changed and she feels so different and the peace and the joy. And and then at the end of it all, I said to Philip, I explained to him how I was going to speak to him, but something just kind of pulled me away. That, And I said, look, this is a God moment. You know, I want to encourage you that, you know, God loves you and he can do the same that he did for this young lady and for your wife. And I said, friend, do you want to invite Jesus into your heart? And he said, yes, to Jesus. And, um, and uh, you know, um, and I just want to share that, he said to me that, please d- don't judge me. Yes, I'm covered in tattoos everywhere, but don't judge me. And I said, my friend, you might have tattoos all over you. I don't judge you. And I said, and neither does Jesus. I said, Jesus looks at your heart. He loves you. I said, man judges the outer appearance, but God judges the heart. And I said, God loves you. He's not willing that anyone should perish. And this is a God moment. I said, would you like to receive Jesus and this young man said yes I would love to receive Jesus so he received Jesus into his heart I said the sinner's prayer he repeated basically I placed my hand on his head and I just prayed for him brothers and sisters the power of God fell on this young man and he took his glasses off and he was wearing dark glasses And uh, praise God, the Lord touched him and he felt the power of God and he had tears in his eyes. And and then at at the end of it all, after I prayed for him, the Lord gave me a word for him and I began to speak to his heart. It was the Lord speaking through me. And he said to me, I feel that. I said, do you understand that this is God speaking to you? The word I'm giving to you, it's not me. It's the Holy Spirit speaking through me. He said, I know. I felt it in my heart. I know it's God speaking to me. I felt it. And it was just such a beautiful moment. And um, and then I prayed for the, the wife again. And, and she and, and I said to her, you know, what happened when I prayed for you? And that day that I prayed for you. And she shared with me how she just could not describe what she felt go through her. She just felt the Holy Spirit. She felt peace. She felt joy. And she her whole life has turned around because of that day. So I was able to encourage this whole family. And I was blown away, um, you know, just... The way that God is moving in these last days, what an awesome thing it is to be a witness for Him, to be um, a servant of God in these last days. Um, so I wanted to share with that, share that with you. I hope that encourages you. Um, basically, prior to that happening on that day, the enemy attacked me in a very bad way, you know, um, and, and I just always believe, like, I believe that when your biggest attacks come, we should rejoice because we know that victory is around the corner. Something great is about to happen. The enemy knew what was about to happen before I stepped out to get my daughters that day from school. So he just attacked me in a very bad way. I I mean, I, I could not even believe what happened. Um, you know, um, and, uh, you know, I... <laughs> I knew that, right, Lord, something is, is about to happen because the enemy is mad at me. And mind you, all this has happened just after I began to release my videos and share my videos after not sharing for over a year now. You know, um, I last week I shared two two of my um, two videos um, and, uh, and, you know, I've just, in, in the last week since I put those videos out on there, let me tell you this, there's been a war going on, there's been a battle, the devil is mad, and I'm in the business of making Jesus glad, the, the devil mad, and some people sad, okay, but, you know, and why I say that is because this is, is this, this ministry of evangelism, and um, going out there every day, reaching out to the lost, pulling people from from the pit of hell, encouraging people, blessing people, sharing people, sharing with people the good news about Jesus Christ. This makes the devil so angry. When you go into his territory, he hates it. Satan does not want people to be saved, okay? And he will come against you if you are reaching out to souls. But you know what? All glory and honor and praise goes to Jesus, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. If God be for you, then who can be against you? Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So basically I wanted to share that with you just to encourage you that um, while we're waiting for the return of our precious King, our Lord and our Savior, I want to encourage you to be a witness um, for Jesus Christ, because we're living in the most exciting of times. God will use you for his glory. Um, miracle signs and wonders will follow those who believe, especially now in this time we're living in. Um, God is doing amazing things. Um, people are being healed, set free, delivered. 
And I really, um, I really encourage you to um, not just be someone who's waiting for the rapture, you know, occupy the time, take advantage of the time. God will bless you. God will reward you. Um, be a voice. Be a light in this dark world. This world is getting a darker place. It's getting so dark. It's getting so discouraging. That's why we, if you're filled with the Holy Spirit, we are called to be lights. We are called to be encouragers. You know, when there's people walking around with their cups half empty they're broken they're lost they're hurting um people have come against them the enemy has come against them they're condemned they're feeling judged they're feeling not worthy i want to encourage you today if you just put your hands up to jesus it doesn't matter who you are my friend you don't have to have a title you don't have to be a pastor you don't have to be any you just have to have the willingness you, all you need is the holy spirit jesus said whoever believes in me will do even greater things for i go to the father i want to encourage you today there is nothing special about me i am just someone who who said jesus use me lord use me for your glory lord not my will be done but your will be done Jesus set me free, he healed me, he delivered me, and I just want, you know, when you realize how real Jesus is, when you've been touched by his power, when you've been healed by his love, when you've been set free and delivered, and when he's broken every chain the enemy has placed over your life, you cannot help but want to share it with the rest of the world. Hallelujah. We overcome the devil by the word of our testimony and by the blood of the lamb i want to encourage you today be an encourager encourage someone today encourage your neighbor God will always go before you. Oh, Ramarionto, I want to encourage you today that the task before you is never as great as the power behind you. God will go with you. He will lead the way. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you that when you go to speak to that woman to encourage her, that single parent who's who's been through the worst of the worst, when you encourage her, sister, I want to share Jesus with you. He loves you. Can I pray with you? God will move on your behalf. Friends, when we move, God moves. Do not allow the enemy to put fear in your heart. He is a fear monger. He hates the body of Christ. He hates people being saved. He hates it. He cannot stand it. He knows what hour it it is. He knows that Jesus is about to rapture his bride. I encourage you today to stand up today. And I just want to pray pray for everyone who wants to be used for boldness. Boldness, just put your hands towards the screen and I believe the anointing is going to flow through this screen right now in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for a spirit of boldness right now to come upon your people. I bind and I cast out any spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. I cancel the plan of the devil in Jesus' name. Any plan of the wicked one to stop your people from moving forth, Lord, from being an encourager, from being a light in the darkness, Lord, from being a witness in these last days. In Jesus' name, I cancel that plan right now of the enemy. In Jesus' name. And I pray, Father God, for increased anointing on everyone who's watching this video, Father God, Lord, that they will have the courage, the boldness, and the desire, Lord Jesus, to reach out to the lost, the broken, the hurting, and the poor. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus said, whoever believes in him will do even greater for he goes to the father i want to encourage you today that jesus said himself that you will do even greater things this is the time my brothers and sisters to rise up it's time for the body of christ to rise up march forth in victory knowing that god has prepared the way for you hallelujah he will never give you more than you can handle Hallelujah. Now is the only time that we have to reach out to the lost, the broken, the hurting. Now is the only time. The trumpet is about to sound. Jesus Christ would come back at any moment. Hallelujah. Please, I encourage you, rise up now. God is touching you right now. Oh, Ramarionson, increase anointing right now. Oh, Rabachatala Marionto, I break out, I, I bind and cast out every evil spirit who will try to deter you or stop you from reaching out in Jesus' name. Lord, set your people free right now in the name of Jesus. Deliver them for your glory in the name of Jesus. And brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you as you step out today or any other day for that matter, I want to encourage you. 
Share in, in the comment section that you witnessed today. It's all for the glory of Jesus. Just share how you witnessed to someone. I want to encourage you that even if you get a bad reaction, you planted a seed. Okay, people might abuse you, they might reject you. Why? Because you mentioned the powerful name of Jesus. The devil hates that name. But I want to encourage you, don't let that stop you, okay? Because there's a day coming, there is a day coming when every one of us will stand before God. And the person that you witnessed to who rejected Jesus Christ, Jesus will say to that person, listen, I sent my servant and you rejected me. So I want to encourage you, it's all about planting seeds. We're not required to save people. Jesus does the saving. We are just required to walk forth in obedience and and to be a voice, to plant seeds. That's what it is. It's planting seeds. When you plant a seed, just by saying to someone, Jesus loves you, my friend. He died for your sins. Ask him into your heart. You'll receive eternal life. Just by saying to someone, hey, you know, I want to encourage you. There's hope in Jesus. You have no idea how much power there's, there is in those words. Why? Because there's power in the name of Jesus. Demons tremble at the name of Jesus. Be a voice and a witness today in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I'll get on here um, because my video is about to cut out my, my brothers and sisters and I'm going to get back on here and do a second follow-up video and I'm going to share some, some scriptures as well. And, um, and I encourage you, rise up, rise up, rise up because... Jesus Christ is coming back and he wants, he, he came for the lost. He came in search for the lost soul. And it's our job to be a voice. Hallelujah. Put that devil in his place and show him that you have been given authority by God Almighty. God has given you the authority, my brothers and sisters, to trample on serpents and scorpions. He has seated you in heavenly places. <clears throat> He's endowed you with power from on high. Now is not a time to walk with your head hanging low. Now is a time to put your head up, look up, for your redemption draws near. Now is the time to push your shoulders back and to walk forth like royalty because that is what you are. Hallelujah. We are kings and priests. We are a royal priesthood. Hallelujah. We've been cho chosen. We've been anointed. We've been appointed. Hallelujah. It's time to know who you are in Christ. <clears throat> and it's time to be a voice. I love you, my brothers and sisters. Have a blessed day. And I'm just about to do a follow-up video with some encouraging scriptures to encourage you. I love you guys so much. Thank you for your beautiful, encouraging comments that you've been sending. Um, and you have no idea how much that blesses me. And um, and my beautiful daughter, Savannah, was so blessed when she was reading all the comments and your beautiful comments about her drawings and, and, and her testimony. <clears throat> we love you guys. Please keep us in your prayers. And again, if you have any prayer requests, please <clears throat> don't be afraid to post your prayer requests. <clears throat> Because I'm, I've been lifting all those prayer requests up to the Lord. <clears throat> and I'm believing that God is moving mightily and powerfully. You will receive your miracle. Just believe. Have faith. Love you guys. I'll see you soon. Blessings.